Keith from uh, Generation Next and from Antigua, from Desmond Blue. Apologies, I've got the pronunciation wrong. What do you slash did you give up to play sports? So I know you touched on school. Was there anything else that you gave up? Uh, like just, your sacrifice is what you sacrificed. Yeah, to just make my it. mate, my mates from back home. Like I had quite a few mates when I was obviously when you're young, you've got like all your school mates. So I, I'm not really in contact with them anymore. So they go, leave. they go down one path, and you chose yeah, to go down the other. Yeah. So obviously you leave your family, friends. Yeah. So that's that's the that's the most. Then I asked this Tom the other week. So you've made all these sacrifices. Tough at the time, especially for a young lad. It's tough to to realise that you're making these sacrifices. Would you switch it? Would you say right? I want to get my family and friends back, and I want to no. get all away. You no. do it all again, so it's well worth it. Yeah, well worth it. Yeah, well, well, definitely. definitely. What mental tool do you use under pressure to get focused? It's a good one, there. Uh, do you have any superstitions? Do you have any, you know, strategies that you do? You just do you zone in, zone out? Not really. I just chill. To be fair, I'm not really like a stressed person, so I just yeah. chill and take out, like take everything as it comes. So try and stay as relaxed as possible in the change rooms. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Nigel Graham, what is his weekly routine, day by day, in terms of training, eating, and gym? Now, we touched on this, so you, you were good enough to come down. We had a team over from Canada, and you met them uh, from Toronto. You met them and came over. We touched on the food a bit there. I know you're trying to eat as good as possible, so just go into your eating habits. What's, you know, you're trying to eat as healthy as possible? Yeah, obviously, um, with my injury, the first two weeks, I had a bit uh, a phase of eating unhealthy. Yeah. But, like, when I wasn't injured, obviously, we we got body fat every every... Every time at the end of the month, so yeah, you have got to look after yourself. Yeah. What's your favourite dish? Your healthy dish? If you were to go for you can clean. Healthy. What would be your clean, clean favourite dish? Yeah. Must be like chicken with veg or chicken veg and rice. Yeah. What else is there? Chicken Caesar salad. Yeah. To keep it nice and clean. Yeah. Let's see what else. Another one from. Janiel Simons, what's the difference between playing club football and international football? So you represented Belgium at which, which age? Uh, under 19s. Under 9. So was there, was there a big difference playing international to playing club level? Yeah, because you don't really know. You don't really know. The, like you, obviously, the more you play out with them, the, the more you get used to them. But you don't really some of the players that because there's obviously loads of people coming. Like they're always like new people in the in the squad. So. Yeah, it's good. It's still good. Like obviously, I loved it, and I'd, I'd love to play for for Belgium. But it's uh, it's completely different. Proud feeling. Yeah. Everybody has this football as a as an outlet. You know, they, some people look forward to it all week, and then they go. But having it has been tough. But for us, it's finding new routines, new new uh, new habits to keep up to date with. So, how how are you surviving without you know having that Saturday game to look forward to? Just. Keeping myself busy with my PlayStation, going for walks, yeah. Obviously keeping a distance, then watching series. Obviously doing the gym at home. There's not much to do, but it's the same for everyone. So, talk us through, talk us through what you do in the gym. Are you doing weights? Are you doing body weights? Are you doing reps? Uh, are you running? I do, bike, I do half hour bike as a as a warm up, yeah. and then uh, do some knee rehab. Yeah. Squats and all of that, and then uh, at the end I do some core. Nice. Just to keep try and keep fit. How do you manage a good diet during your quarantine? It's t I can speak for that. It's tough for me. Comfort eating, snacking all the time. So how, how how's that going? Bowl is sport. Make bowl sport. So is your head. <laughs> so is your head. <laughs> Explain the value of individual training. So obviously. You can't train as a group now, so you've got your one-on-ones, you're training individually. What's the value to that? Do you do any of that at Stoke? Do you have any one-on-one training? Do you stay and do set pieces? Do you, how does that work? Uh, sometimes do some shooting at the end of training. Uh, yeah. Some running. Obviously. Yeah, just little bits at every session, really. Yeah. Any advice? So we've got these young players who are obviously doing their stuff at home and they're on lockdown. So, any advice you'd give to them on how to keep busy and what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing? Just enjoy the time with their family. Obviously, 
play PlayStation, get your Call of Duty scores up, <laughs> and uh, that's about it. And get in the gym? Get in the gym, do them press-ups every day, the core, yeah. and eat good. Yeah. Uh,